All right, guys, welcome to tonight's Monday Night Training Zoom. I am your host, Joel Dunn, Black Diamond, number one income earner, and uh, all-around bearded dude. So uh, a little bit different tonight because I get to do the uh, hosting duties, and I have two amazing leaders on to talk tonight. Uh, we're going to be talking about two things, distributors and customers, which are conveniently uh, the two things you need to get paid but before we jump in with them, I wanted to go over some amazing things uh, that you may not have heard happened uh, over the last few days. Um, we had gotten together, a group of us with Doug, our CEO, and Meredith, and we talked about what things should look like and you know what the field really needs going into December, getting ready to jumpstart into January. So we had uh, a lot of talking back and forth on what kind of uh, things we could do to make things uh, simpler and uh, benefit you and you know help stuff your stockings for Christmas. So uh, I'm going to go over the things that we went over last week uh, and announced last night. So for those of you that may not have heard this yet, we made things super simple. So for right now, any loyal customer that you have counts as a qualified loyal customer. There isn't a BV minimum in order to have a qualified loyal customer. So if you think that's awesome, put fire down there because I know there's a lot of you that had a bunch that were just kind of outliers. And it was one of those things that were like, well, you guys put the work into getting them. Why are we not rewarding you for doing the work that, why will we exclude it? So we, we worked with them and they got that Past. So now every single customer that you get counts. Um, we talked about Christmas cash and we felt that the Christmas cash uh, was just a little bit harder to get than normal. Uh, we noticed that it was a little bit different time period. So we said, hey, what do you think about extending it? And guess what? They said, hey, why not? So Christmas cash is extended. So you have extra time to get your Christmas cash in. And oh, by the way, what happens if I don't fully qualify? So if you don't fully qualify, they actually created a middle of the road Christmas bonus, which is $1,000. Who would like $1,000 as opposed to $0 uh, for Christmas cash? Because maybe you get the two tier twos in and you get just three, I'm sorry, you get two tier ones and just a three tier twos in, and you're, you're almost there, and then time ends. Well, guess what? You get $1,000 now. But the other thing that happens too is once you do that, you still have the time to complete and get the other 2,000. So if you did the full and got your five tier twos, you can capture the other 2,000 of your $3,000, and you can stack it. So if you go all the way through and get a full Christmas cash, you can go all the way through again and stack another thousand on your way to 3000. So if you got one done, you're a rock star. You're on fire right now. Start working for your second full one. And if you don't get it done in time, you may get the other half done. So 4,000 would be an incredible Christmas cash bonus. Um, the other thing that we're doing is... Uh, how do you guys like the uh, foreign friend at 150? It's a pretty good deal, right? Now, what if it was at 250? That's a better deal. So that's what we were able to do. We were able to get Christmas cash in your pocket now while you are working towards that. I mean, think about that. If you are working towards your foreign friend and you're doing these, how many of those 250s can you add up on top of the other stuff that you're doing. So guys, literally, uh, it's raining money for Christmas. And I'm pretty sure the majority of you want to know how to do that. So today we've got two incredible rock stars on. And um, unfortunately for me, I think one maybe has a little bit of priority over the other. Um, who's in charge of uh, distributor gathering? Raise your hands. No, 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 no. I, I know you are, Marissa. I want all of you to raise your hand. You're, you're in charge of dis distributor gathering. When you wake up tomorrow morning, I want you to look in the mirror and tell yourself, 
I am a distributor gathering machine because of the fact that you want to set that stage. You want that to be your focus. And here's why, because multiplication happens with distributors. So when you sign distributors, they automatically go out and get other customers. When you focus solely on getting customers, the hard part about that is customers aren't going to go get you other customers and other distributors. They may potentially go out and become a distributor, which is awesome. And that's your job is to help them love the products enough that they decide that they want to join your business. But for me, the most important thing that you should be doing every single day is figuring out who you can find to help join your team. And then when they say no, then you're like, okay, you can just buy products. But you're looking for those people that are looking to join your business. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Marissa and you are going to be basically be going over all of the things that are working for you right now and give them a little bit of your story and why you're rocking out right now. Okay, so hi, I'm Marissa. Um, I started seven years ago when I was in college. Um, I was working a job that I hated. <laughs> I was dead in. I mean, it was a sandwich shop. Um, and I saw a girl I went to high school with posting on social media. So this wasn't in person and this was seven years ago and it was on Facebook, um, posting about some bonus at the time. And I was like, you know what? I don't have anything to lose. Um, so I jumped in and for the first couple of years, it was just kind of like a side thing. And then four years ago, I was like, mm, I actually don't like going to school. I don't like college. I don't like sitting in a classroom all day. And I don't want to work until I'm 65. Honestly, I really don't. <laughs> I want to retire long before then. Um, but for, yeah, four years ago, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go full-time with this. And from deciding that in three months, I went diamond. Uh, earned a diamond bonus, a couple other bonuses and stuff, and then just been doing this full-time for the last four years. And I live in Texas. I think that's pretty much it. It's, that was a very quick version of my story. No, that was good. So um, before we get into that portion of it, what is the uh, overarching why of why? Because you're, you're in for seven years now. You So you've done a lot. You've accomplished a lot. What keeps you going right now? Besides paying my bills, um, I don't want to go back. I don't want to get nine to five. I don't want to go back to school. I actually thought that over the summer. I was like, mm, I, I have the option to go back to school. I was like, but I love doing this business. I don't want to do anything else. Um, I want a new car. I want to move. Um, I want to help my mom retire. She She's like 64. She does not have much of a retirement, unfortunately. And I know that her retirement is not going to come from her job. And she's not depending on me to do it or anything, but that's something that I want to do. And I, I yeah, I mean, this, besides paying bills and going traveling and doing all the fun stuff, I don't have any kids either. And I'm single. So <laughs> I kind of get to do whatever I want. And I'm stuck on being able to do whatever I want. Like I would not be a good fit for a, a nine to five job. So, so you're basically unemployable is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Awesome. So uh, you've been doing an incredible job gathering and enrolling distributors. So what are some of the things that are working for you right now? So I, the beginning of last month, actually, it was the end of October when I heard about this Christmas cash, I was like, okay, I'm not missing out on it this year because I didn't earn it last year. I missed it by three distributors and like seven customers or something last year. And I was like, I'm not missing out on this. Okay, and really, I knew really something quick guys, if, if you missed out on it last year and you were excited about this year, put a one in the comment. Because I think that was a huge thing for a lot of people. So guys, did you catch that? She didn't get it last year. And that gave her more drive to, want, oh, look at that. Yeah, you're not you're not alone, Marissa. There's a whole, whole crew yeah. of you that uh, you're here to inspire um, today. So I was like, something needs to change with distributors. Because I had felt like the last couple of months before that, I was like, I'm in, I enroll some here and there. But like, I wasn't talking to a ton of people every day like it was a couple people and I was like I'm not excited like this isn't exciting I want to bring in more people I love training people um with the business and I was like something needs to change so at first I started with changing my host to post message that I'm sending out this all goes together so 
I was like, it needs to be more personal. So I completely changed it because I realized most of us were all sending out the same host post message. It's not personal. It's just like a copy and paste thing. And I kept saying, hearing um, like Amber Parker a couple of weeks ago um, and several other people saying like, we need to get away from that. And I was like, yeah, you're right. So I, <laughs> I changed up my message. It is me. It is not something that I got from somebody else. And it's basically just asking for the person's help, like their support. And if they would share a post and I do add that we're doing a giveaway and they'll get added, but most people, I very, very rarely, I think I've gotten 20 no's in the last month out of hundreds of messages, host post messages. Um, and then from there, I either give them the gummy host to post or the distributor host to post. So if you're not doing distributor host to post, definitely recommend doing that because that's what's bringing in so many people. I'm having at least like 10 to 15 um, new conversation, like actual conversation with potentials every day. And I'm not going to share the host post just because this is the other thing back to like the copy and paste thing. Um, everyone starts using the same thing. Cause I see other distributors ho host to post popping up on my Facebook. And I'm like, that's the same thing that somebody else just posted on someone else's wall. And they're all the same. And some of it's going to be the same because distributor host to post, it's just a simple, there's only so much you can change it up but distributor your host to post is blowing up uh the only thing is don't use the word positions <laughs> you'll get a you'll get an email from compliance like I did so I had to change that but my host to post is still working um and then along with that all of the people that are putting up these posts especially if I want the person to do the business I give them a distributor host to post this has happened twice today one girl has 20 comments on it so far and the other girl I haven't even checked it because I can't message on Facebook and I'm avoiding it for a couple of hours but um I already know she had like five <laughs> in jail last time I saw it oh and I knew I know better but I just got so excited and I was like I can't I gotta get this thousand done this week like I can't miss Christmas cash. It makes me feel physically ill thinking that I could possibly miss it. So um, do, you, do you have a number in your head when you when you start asking, like you're, you're going to say, I'm going to do this many in 10 minutes or this many in an hour. Do you do you have that goal or do you just get on and start doing it? So as far as like sending the host post messages, I usually do about 25 at a time and I usually space it out throughout my day. Um, but this morning I had a migraine, so I, my day kind of got pushed back a little bit that I could not even look at my phone. So I usually do it in chunks, but today it kind of got all mushed together and that's what got me blocked. And I messaged way too many people way too fast. So um, yeah, I usually, but as far as like my schedule throughout the day too, I don't have a set Besides working out at like nine o'clock, I don't have a set schedule at all. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't like so it. Ba basically, for those of you that are on that may not have a full day to do this, like she was saying, you can find pockets in your day to do 25 at a time. And I know you don't want to share what you're using, but if you had to make up a distributor host to post that was authentic, what would you tell people to say? I would just say like, hey, my friend Jessica is looking for five people who want to make extra money from their phone, like drop an emoji below for more info or just something simple like that. And I try to keep it just a line or two that way, because you only have like a couple of seconds to capture someone's attention anyway. So you don't want a huge long thing. Um, I'm also not using a picture on any of my host of posts and they're doing really well. So I find, I don't know, everyone's different. Some people are using pictures with their distributor host to post and they're working. Um, and then I also have the person that put up the post tag me in the comments, not the post, but the comments. And then some people that don't want to comment are messaging me. So I have like, I don't know, 10 or 15 messages in my message request right now that I haven't gotten to um, from this afternoon of people wanting info. So wow. that helps a lot too. That's huge. So basically, you've got this funnel that you've you keep adding to, and you're going through and trying to pretty much play catch up all day. Mm -hmm. So guys, put a two in the comment if you think what she said was super, super easy, because she basically said two sentences, which you could type out really quickly. And so 
I think the problem is that most people just overthink it. And I, I understand because I'm kind of the same way. I overthink everything. I'm a green analytic personality. So my whole thing is overthinking, overthinking, overthinking. And I'm guessing that that's 99% of you, but she just gave you an easy way to reach out to somebody and just get them interested. So maybe you're not doing it because you're making it too hard for yourself. Just take a step back and make it as easy as possible for you. So Marissa, what else do you have to share tonight? Um, oh, so as far as like, once you start talking to the potentials, um, I'm not a phone person, but right now, if so, if a potential distributor wants to call me, I will FaceTime you, I will talk to you. I don't care. Um, phone calls make me want to throw up. Uh, they're my least favorite thing ever. I would like to never make a phone call ever again. My insurance kept calling me today and I'm like, I'm not answering you um but I will talk to a potential distributor on the phone that is different um when there's money involved I will do it um but I send so many voice messages these people are probably all sick of me but yesterday I had a new girl join she ended up joining with a bigger pack too and it wasn't it just sends so many voice messages and she's someone that put up a distributor host supposed for me too and I'm basically I walk through the conversation I have them watch a video um, but for a lot of it, it's not really scripted. It's just me sending them a voice message, kind of explaining everything. Um, and when I explain the kit, I don't type it out anymore. I send them, it's all a voice message. I don't care if it's like two or three voice messages. Um, and they're short. I try to keep them under a minute. Um, but I always, I send the voice message and that helps a lot. And then also like once we get to that point of the kit and they say, oh, I can't until then, Honestly, right now I'm telling them I have spots open today through Friday. My birthday is on Sunday. I would like to celebrate <laughs> on Saturday. I just like, and then I know I'm traveling the week after and I'm going to be insanely busy. And I'm like, I don't want to finish Christmas cash then. Like I want to get this done. So I'm not that I won't enroll somebody the rest of the month, but I'm really kind of pushing to get everyone in now. And I'm telling them like getting started now you have the option, opportunity to make money before Christmas and have it paid out before Christmas. Because say someone gets started today, they could get a 250 bonus this week and a 250 bonus next week. And that's $500 at least in their first two weeks. Like that's yes, crazy. That's, that's huge. So you're creating not only urgency for yourself to get it done, you're creating urgency with them on needing to join now so they, they can do the things to get the cash before Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Guys, that's that's huge. Put a number one if that was an aha for you. And I'm yellow, so like pushing someone. I'm yellow, red, and green. They're all even. But the yellow, the yellow feels kind of bad, but then the red is like, no, like we're making money. It doesn't matter. And no one's complaining that I'm saying, hey, like I have this through Friday. And I also tell them when I save a spot for you, if you do not get started on that day, I do not save a spot for someone again. Like it's first come, first serve. And everyone's like, okay. Like this person's serious. And the last person I told that to, I had saved a date. She got started. So I'm like, they're, I'm not messing around. Like, if you want to get started, let's do this. And if right now is not the time for someone, that's totally fine. We can always get started later, but I'm looking for peer, people who want to work. Don't have time to be going back and forth. That's awesome. All right, guys, give her some love. She obviously had a hard morning this morning you know migraines are no big deal but she powered through got herself blocked on facebook so she had free time tonight to jump on and share with you guys all right uh where are you taylor i see you where'd you go did I move? Am I no, there you are. in the corner? Anymore? Yeah, no, now you're in the middle. I don't I don't know what Zoom's trying to do. It's trying to keep me on my toes. All right, guys. So we just did all things distributor. And like I said before, if for some reason somebody just is incessant on saying no to being a distributor, guess what? You can always use the backup plan, which is getting them to be a loyal customer and Taylor, you are huge at not only distributor gathering, but you are great at getting customers. So I want to have you talk to everybody a little bit about that. But uh, for those of you that don't know who you are, give them a little bit about your story. Uh, I know you've been with us for a while. So 
tell me what your original why was and if that why has changed. Yeah, so um, I'm Taylor Grindstaff. I have been in for almost seven years now, um, which is just, it's crazy to think about seven years. This is the longest job I've ever had. <laughs> um, but I joined the end of December. Uh, so I'm coming up on my seven year anniversary. And um, when I got started, I was working 50 to 60 hours a week doing accounting work and going to school at night. So I was super busy. Like I had no time. I was recently like newly married. Um, and I always, always have wanted to be a stay at home mom. And when my husband and I got married, we kind of looked at the budget and we're like, we can't afford to be for me to be a stay at home on mom on a single income. And that broke my heart. Like, I'm just going to tell you, it broke my heart. And I was like, okay, this is the real world. And I got to do something. I saw this random person post posting on Instagram about being able to make money with her kids. I had no kids at the time, but I had a gut feeling like God brought this to me for a reason. I joined not knowing anything about the company, not knowing anything about the products or anything. Uh, God just said, try this. Six months later, I quit my job, my full-time job. And I've been doing this ever since for full-time. Um, and now I have three kids and I get to stay home every day with them. I don't get to miss any moments, which is what I've always wanted my entire life is to be home with my kids. So this has allowed me to have the dreams I've always dreamed um, and being able to help people along the way also. That is awesome. All right. So all things customer, what do you got going on right now? Um, okay. So basically I cannot take credit for this because it's all like, I reached out to a few, like my friend, Ashley Pfluger. I love her. Um, like what she is doing for like messaging and stuff. Um, I got this message. I will put it in the chat here in a second, but basically I'm leading with that because I do host a post and they do good. Um, but they don't always hit, which is totally fine, but you should be doing more than just host a post. So reaching out to people, um, I send them this message and the way I'm going about finding these people is through my story. So the people who view my stories on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so you should be posting stories every day, whether that be you using the products, you with like your daily life, your kids, whatever that may be for you behind the scenes, reaching out to those people who view your story. Also, I go to... Um, my memories on Facebook and you can look at old posts that you've put this like you put up today five years ago last year two years whatever it is even if you just got started in this business you have been posting on Facebook for more than just today so going back to those people who liked and commented on those posts and reaching out to them with this message also going through my friends list if I have to and then um, likes on posts and old hosts of posts um, but sending them a message and basically is asking if they would be a customer, like, Hey, would you be a, a product reviewer for me? And if they say no, I always send them a message and be like, Hey, that's totally fine. Would you care to put up a post for me? So if they say no, you can still get a host to post out of that conversation. So you've not like just totally wasted your time. Not that it's wasting your time, but you know what I mean? Um, but I, I'll go ahead and put that before I forget. Um, on here. So the other thing I wanted to ask you too is, are you doing specific products? Like right now we've got the holiday packs. So are you reaching out to people right now talking about the holiday packs? Yeah. So anyone that I have had a conversation with, um, whether that be for weight loss, skincare, whatever, Whatever it is, reaching out to about a specific holiday pack and be like, hey, I know you were interested in X, Y, Z, whether that be the gummies. Say, hey, I know you're interested in the gummies. We have this awesome pack that's even bigger discount and you can maximize your results with it. Uh, would you want more info? And just kind of going there, opening the door. Um, and like I said, if they say no, um, you can send this message and be like, hey, that's totally fine. Would you care to post for me? So you're at least getting a host to post. And um, I do gummies, host to post, distributor, host to post. So you can kind of go from there with that. But um, yeah, so that's that's what I'm doing with like messaging and stuff. So what you're doing is you're taking a no and turning it into a host to post ask. Absolutely. Guys, uh, 
Yeah, I see, I see all the heads shaking right now. That's huge. So some of the things that I love that you said were, uh, you know, going back through old posts. I mean, how many of you have used your history and your memories in that manner? I mean, that's, that's huge. There's people that are probably in there that haven't seen your stuff in a while. And so by messaging them, because you haven't communicated with them in four years, it pops them back in. And there you go. You've got more people to talk to you because the, the name of this game is network, 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 because it's who you know and who knows you. So the goal is, is to go out and get connected to as many people as possible. So you have people to talk to about the business. Uh, Taylor, outside of host to post, and, and doing things through Messenger, do you have another route that you go to find people and add them to your network? So um, basically I, I post every day. So that's being consistent with your posting, um, host to post, and then also just expanding your network, meaning going to um, groups. For me personally, I have like Facebook and Instagram. I expand on both of those platforms. On Facebook, I'm in specific groups that um, I can relate to someone with. So I have small um, business groups that I'm in, like stuff for my kids, me personally, things like that, that I can relate to people with on a different level, um, like pajama groups for the kids. And then I go and expand my network there. So I add the people that are posting, liking, commenting on those posts in the group. Same for Facebook, but I go to those groups profiles and do the same thing just start adding people that look like they are cool like I can I can have a friendship with um and I don't message them so like I know some people like reach out to those people that's totally fine you can do it however you want but I don't I just start engaging on them building a relationship because this is a relationship business um I hear all the time from people in corporate from Amber from Steph from just everybody it's a relationship business so you need to create that relationship with people because they buy from people they know like and trust so you want to be able to have that relationship with them. Um, but I'm just expanding my network work that way. I was expecting you to say something about Disney, but you, you nailed it. That too. Long. We are going next week, but yes, Disney, Disney is one too. I am in several Disney uh, groups. Um, let me see. I saw somebody post up here, Candace. A lot of people just think I'm a scam. Now, uh, you kind of addressed that a little bit, Taylor, but I want you to go into that a little bit deeper on the if you're in a group and you're adding these people, how long do you sit and let them watch you before you reach out and ask for a host to post? Because like you said, it's about relationships. It's about connecting. Um, I feel a lot of the times where people get that kind of feeling is when you join a group and then you add 400 people. And then the next day you ask 25 of them to be a part of your business. I know that yeah, that's I, what I used to do and it didn't work out well for me. So <laughs> I, I had to well, learn that I one the hard put, way. No, I agree. I try to put myself in their shoes. If I had someone add me as a friend on Facebook or Instagram for that matter, whichever one, um, would I really appreciate them messaging me like the next day or even a week later? Um, personally, no. I would not find that. I, I would think that they are a scam and they're just trying to, to get my money or whatever it is. Um, but if they're liking and commenting on my stuff, like actually being a real person and not just adding you and then two days later, hey, can you put up a host to post for me? Um, I, I wouldn't appreciate that. So put yourself in, in their shoes. If you um, were added by someone, you would want them to start liking and commenting on your stuff. So that may take a week, that may take a month. It just depends on your business, your lifestyle, how you're working it, how fast you're wanting to work it. Um, but just give them time. I, I mean, you need to build that relationship. You don't want to, to just go in and be like, Hey, can you do this for me? They don't know you. Why would they do that for you? Um, so just build that relationship with them, uh, for a while. And then you can reach out to them after, after a little while. So good. All right. Do you have any other things that you had on your mind that you needed to share? I did. Um, I have a message. 
uh, that I want to put in in the chat. And it's going back kind of like we had talked about with the memories and stuff, old posts. This is why you should be posting daily, um, whether that be the business, the products, you as a person, you need to be doing all three. Um, but it's this message being, putting it in the comments, like I just launched a limited time promo. You can snag it for whatever it is, like if it's for the gummies, the coffee, whatever. Um, and bumping those old posts when we do have a promotion. So say corporate offers a free bag of wraps or free whatever it is with this order today only. You can go back and put this in the comments. Be like, hey, I have um, a free bag of coffee for anyone that orders today, but you need to be posting daily to be able to do that. So this is another reason why you should be posting. So you can go back to I've gone back for this whole year when we have promos like this, and I will comment that every single time when we have a new promo, because those people that have commented on that post get notified that you put a comment on this post that they had already commented on. So they may not have been ready to order six months ago, but they are now because it's the new year and they're like, oh, I need to lose weight. She's when I talk to that way, you don't necessarily have to go and message all the people that have commented. They get notified. Um, I mean, you can still go and message them, but say like you're in Marissa's situation where you can't reach out to people on Facebook now or message them or whatever. This allows them to send you a message and be like, hey, I saw your comment. I want that now. Um, but I'll leave you with that. That's kind of all I have on that. That was awesome. Guys, give her a round of applause, thumbs up, fires, hearts, smiles. Uh, thanks for all of your amazing loyal customer knowledge. All right, guys. So you made it this far and I didn't even have to beg you at the beginning with what I'm getting ready to tell you, because for those of you that were on the call last night, you may have heard something slip from Doug. And if not, you might want to go back and watch the replay. But all I can tell you is that I know that there's something coming and I can tell you that it's amazing. So get excited. We still got more new products launching before the end of the year. So be excited about that. Get people excited, not only about what you have. You have all of these amazing packs right now. So you should be able to go out and get customers like crazy. But also you're at the best time of the year for people to get in. So going back to what Marissa was saying, this is the time to create urgency for people to join. Why is this minus Stephanie's favorite time of the year? It's because of the fact that this is where you get ahead of the wave. Because what happens in January? Everyone creates their New Year's resolutions. They want to make more money. They want to lose weight. They want to eat healthier. They want to look better. And guess what? We have a business that does all of that for them. So get them excited and get them joining now so they can learn and know how to do host to post. They can learn about products and know what to share with people and get them involved today so that they're ready for when all of those people come. I always use a surfing analogy. You know, you've got the professional surfers that are out in the water and then you've got the uh, tourists that are out in the water. And if you sit there and you watch from the beach and you watch what happens, you see the professional surfers, the locals, they're anticipating, they know how to read the waves. They get up on the wave and they take off. But then you've got those guys that really have no idea what they're doing. They're just out there for the weekend and they think that they've got it right and they're paddling and they're paddling, but they're always on the back side of the wave. Eventually they get it figured out, but what you see during the hour that you're watching this, you see the locals take 10, 15, 20 waves and you see the guy that's there on vacation has maybe taken one or two because he's always on the back side of the wave. You want to get them on the front side of the wave so that they can ride that wave in to success for starting off their new year. So that's what I wanted to finish up with tonight. I'm going to go ahead and get us out of here in prayer. So dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this amazing group of leaders. Give them great courage to go out this week and reach out to people that maybe they've never reached out to before. Help them go through that list that they have of people that are maybe on their chicken list and get one person from there to the other side. Give them favor in everything that they do. Protect them, keep them safe, keep their family safe, and bless them as they go through this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
All right, guys, go out and make it an incredible week. Marissa, Taylor, thank you guys so much for your help. I know you guys are going to go out and do incredible things, and we'll see you guys soon.